Hello everybody, welcome back to Trash Academy. My name is Eliseo and today we're going to be learning about plastic by numbers. Now in our previous lessons we learned about who invented plastic, where all our plastic products end up, and how the factories that make plastic are polluting our environment as well as hurting our health. Now today we're going to be learning about how to identify different kinds of plastic and yes, there's actually more than one type of plastic and some of them are recyclable, some of them, some of them are safe to use, and some of them are just put into another category which we don't even know what to do with them. Now we know that almost anything and everything could be made out of plastic. We know that most plastic products end up in our ocean, they end up in a landfill, in a giant oven. Some of it gets downcycled to make clothes and some of it, about 9%, is actually recycled around the world. Now we know that almost anything comes in plastic including milk, yogurt, and even oranges. We also tend to know that some plastic is soft, some of it's really hard, some of it's elastic and bendy, and some of it sinks, some of it even floats. Now, I would like to introduce you to these seven different kinds of plastic, numbers one through seven. And you might realize that their names are a little hard to pronounce or even to say. And that's because each plastic is made up of different kinds of chemicals. Now, you can find these different kinds of numbers on the bottom of each plastic product that you probably buy at a store or that you find at home. Depending on the plastic number and the plastic type and material, some plastic materials are recyclable, some of them are safe to use, and other ones are just kind of just put into another category, which we will talk about more in this lesson. I'm sure all of you recognize these three arrows chasing each other, but this was not always the case. It wasn't until the 1980s that giant industries that were making plastics made the si this sign and symbol to help communities of people help recycle their plastic in a more efficient and easy way. Now, we still use these codes today and we find these numbers in the middle of these chasing arrows and they're also known as resin ID codes. And this is how the numbers and the plastic material are connected. Each different number means a different kind of plastic material. So if here on out, if you are really curious about finding out what your plastic bottle or your plastic bag or plastic backpack is made out of, I'm sure you could find this type of number resin ID code underneath any kind of plastic product that you buy at the store. Now here we have plastic number one, also known as PET, polyethylene terephthalate. And you might recognize this bottle and this plastic from a plastic bottle, a soda bottle, or even some packaging. Now this plastic is the most recycled plastic around the world, but it's also meant to be only used once as a single use plastic. Now this plastic can be used more than one time, but the more you use this kind of plastic as in a water bottle or a soda bottle, the more chemicals come out of the plastic and into the juice or water that you have in your container. Now, this kind of plastic also tends to grow bacteria inside the plastic bottle, so you could get sick if you end up drinking or getting some bacteria inside your body that grew inside of one of these bottles. Now, here we have plastic number two, also known as high-density polyethylene, or HDEP. And you might recognize this kind of plastic from milk, maybe your container from the soap when you wash your clothes, some toys, and even some plastic packaging. Now, this is considered one of the safest plastics to use on food or even drinks, and is relatively easy to recycle. Just like plastic number one, this plastic is also widely recycled around the world, and is one of the, use, the plastics we use in our kitchen, outdoors, in parks, because a lot of the plastic products that are recycled from this kind of plastic are made into park benches, picnic tables, and outdoor trash cans. And that is because this kind of plastic really likes and could withstand the sun and the heat, especially the cold. Here we have polyvinyl chloride, also known as plastic number three, and one of the more important ones because as you can see in this photo, there is a skull associated with it. Now this is a, one, of, one of those plastics that is toxic to use and should not be used around food, drinks, or even babies. Here we have plastic number four, known as low density polyethylene, or LDEP. And this kind of plastic is often used as shrink wraps, plastic bags, squeezable bottles, and even some kind of um, packaging for a lot of food. This kind of plastic is also known to be a lot less toxic than a lot of the other kinds of plastic that we will see today and is relatively easy and safe to use. Now, a lot of this plastic is recyclable, but you should check with your local city or your local waste center to see if plastic number four LDPE is being recycled in a city near you. 
Here we have polypropylene or PP, also known as plastic number five. A lot of plastic bottles, your containers, Tupperware, and chip bags are made out of this kind of plastic. This plastic is really good for for holding really, really hot um, objects. It is also um, really used to keep your food and your cereal and your chips dry and away from any nasty chemicals or contaminants outside of the bag. So when you open it, it stays nice and fresh. You could find this kind of plastic also in um, baby bottles, bottle tops, baby diapers, tape, and also rope. Now, this is a plastic that can be recycled in many cities, but it only 3% of this plastic is actually recycled. So once again, check with your local city or waste center to see if polypropylene plastic number five is recyclable in your city. Here we have plastic number six, and it's also known as polystyrene or PS. And you might recognize this as styrofoam cups, drinking cups, takeout containers, to-go containers, spoons, forks, knives, um, single-use plastics, because a lot of these different kinds of plastics are made from polystyrene. Now, polystyrene is really cheap to use, and it's also really, really harmful. This kind of um, plastic leaches a lot of chemicals, also known as carcinogens, which change your DNA and not in a good way like Spider-Man. These chemicals are also found in uh, cigarette butts, and can lead to diseases such as cancer. And here we have plastic number seven, also known as the other category. A lot of different kinds of plastics make up plastic number seven. Um, and as we see here, we have items such as baby bottles and watering containers, um, and a lot of different kinds of plastic like outdoor chairs that are made from different kinds of chemicals and are put into this um, kind of category. Now, this kind of category does tend to have a lot of harmful chemicals like BPA and a lot of other toxins that could enter our body and really make us kind of nasty and sick over a long period of time. All right, so let's quickly review all the plastics that we just went over. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, we just learned that not all of them are safe to use and not all of them are recyclable. So let's go over them one by one. We have plastic number one, known as PET, and plastic number two, known as HDEP. And these kinds of plastics can be recycled almost anywhere. We have plastic number three next, also known as PVC. And now we learned that PVC is actually harmful and toxic for our health. And we should stay away from it and keep it away from our food, drinks, and also babies. And then we have plastic number four, known as LDPE, and plastic number five, known as PP, and can be recycled in some places. But once again, check your local city to see if plastic number four and plastic number five are recyclable and safe to recycle in your local waste bin. Now, we do have plastic number six, which was another one of those toxic kinds of plastics that I want you to stay away from. And it generally cannot be recycled, it cannot be reused because it contains harmful toxins that we just talked about. And then we have, last but not least, plastic number seven. And a lot of these different kinds of plastics are made from very different kinds of materials and they're also put into one category. A lot of these plastics are not recyclable and end up just being put to the side or in landfills. Now, understanding different kinds of plastic that plastics that you find at stores, in your home, in your bathroom, maybe even in your own living room, could help you make safe and wise decisions from here on out. We know that some plastics are recyclable, but doesn't mean that you should continue using plastic because using less and less plastic and also using no plastic is the solution to ending our plastic problem around the world. Now, I want to thank you all for joining me for this lesson on plastic by numbers. And now I leave you with this question or little activity to go into your home and try to find these seven different kinds of plastics in your home, in your backyard, or wherever you may be. I want to thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you all in our next lesson of Trash Academy. And I'll see you all later. Thank you.